All right, so technical issue again, okay? So I uh, seriously, we're gonna upgrade our Wi-Fi soon, okay? Anyway, so tomorrow is Chinese uh, Lantern Festival, festival, festival. So what we, so what, what does that a uh, 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 holiday means? Okay, that means it's the end of Chinese New Year celebration, okay? So Chinese New Year we celebrate for 15 days. So, so on the 15th days of the new year, it's the Chinese uh, Lantern Festival, and we eat this kind of sweet rice sesame ball um, to end this whole, wrap up this uh, New Year celebration, okay? And I don't know if you noticed, today my brows are so on point. Yeah, that's right. All my girls who are still doing your brow threaded, we had, I had a brow threaded you know party that I went before this so I was screaming and crying and embarrassing myself but hey you guys say it looks pretty darn good those girls are you having champagne after your brows done wait for me I'll be right there I'll bring my sesame balls okay all right anyways are you guys watching are you guys watching oh there are people joining me okay great all right so this is so easy and a lot of people don't know, like sesame balls, people think it's all the same. The ones that you bought at a Chinese supermarket in those frozen shelves and stuff, those are called tang yuan, okay? And tang yuan is you make the dough and then you wrap the feel feelings inside the dough, okay? It is yummy, it is absolutely yummy. But today what we're gonna make is what North Chinese people, Chinese people from the North, yeah, like people don't know, <laughs> anyways. They eat yuan xiao, okay? It's very similar by looking, okay? But it's different because this, you roll, you make the fillings first and then you round it into a shape, like the round shape, and then you start rolling it in the rice powder and then make it thicker and thicker and thicker. So if you love the uh, sweet rice uh, sesame ball that you bought from the supermarket, you probably are gonna love this one even better. Why? Because it's kind of like the fresh snow and the old snow, okay? These are like, you use this powder to wrap it up, so it's actually very light and yummy, all right? So we're gonna show you how to make it, and this is actually easier to make, okay? Today I invited a, a friend to come over to show, he's a guy, he's a guy, he's a single guy, he totally has generation gap with me, and so if he can make it, you know you can make it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, let me uh, introduce you, Uncle Stevie. Oh no, wait, just Stevie. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Okay, so he came over to visit, okay? He had no training of any kind of Chinese cooking skill or cooking skill, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, if he can make it, you can make it. And I don't know if he can make it, but I, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I trust you. I believe in you. We can do it. Yeah. All right. All right. Now here's my cameraman. Hello. Ready? I, I, wait. I didn't switch. Hold on. Okay. In two weeks, I'm already lacking practice. All right. Ready? Okay. So what do we need? We need sugar. Okay. You have at home sugar, and you need to get some sesame seed. And before you um, do this, you want to roast it in a dry pan with no oil low heat okay for about three to five minutes just make sure uh, all the sesame seed is warmed up and then you need yummy peanut butter okay but if you have allergy you don't have to cook this okay this is my own recipe i put a little bit of peanut butter in there oh my god okay i just learned this from these old people so without the peanut butter from the scale a uh, uh, scale scale from one to ten I give these yuan xiao 10 points. But with these, oh, jams up to 11. All right, is that what it is? A, okay. All the way to 11. All right, all the way to 11. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know what this means, but for me, it was like, they were like laughing, oh yeah, all the way to 11, and I was like, what? And then they were like, oh, you didn't know the movie? And I was like, what movie? And then they'll drop the name of the, the, the name of the movie, and then I'm always like, I don't know. And they'll say, well, we watched it when we were this age and that age. I'm like, dude. I'm gonna ask you, I have to tell you, I wasn't even conceived yet. Okay, not just born, I wasn't even conceived yet, all right? So I don't know. But anyways, these peanut butter will jam it all up, all the way to 11, okay? But 10 is good enough, right? So you don't have to have peanut butter if you have any allergy at home. And then the last one is, da -da -da -da, this is the, my favorite, right? You all know already, pork fat. But you don't have to use pork fat if this idea doesn't, you know, you don't like it or, you know, you don't render your own pork fat. It's not that easy to uh, buy or to get. 
you can totally use coconut oil and it will get, you know, it will make it good too because coconut has its own fragrance and taste and it's yummy anyways and healthy. So you can totally use coconut oil. You need the oil that will solidate. Is that how you say it? Solidate? Solidate. Solid. Sol get solid when it's cold. All right, I'll tell you why. Okay, because here, all of these, okay, so you roasted your sesame and then you put it into a blender like this, a simple one will do it. So you put the sesame and the sugar in and you blend it until the texture is kind of like, I'm not gonna do it because it's so loud, you probably won't be able to hit here and it takes a little while. So it's a waste of everybody's time. So this is the, you know, like it's finely ground. Okay, the sugar and the sesame seed like this. And then you add, you kind of melt the coconut oil or pork fat a little bit to a little, to more liquid like and you put it in again and keep blending to this texture, okay? It will be more runny. This, this is a little, you know, it's not as warm anymore, so it's not as runny, but it will look a little bit more runny than this, all right? And then that mixture, and of course, peanut butter in too, if you, you're gonna put it. And that mixture is so soft, there's no way you can form a ball with it. So you want to put that final, um, sesame filling, the liquid filling things into the fridge for about an hour, look. Okay, because of the oil, because of the coconut oil or the pork fat, so it's more solid now and it's manageable. So I'm gonna show you how to make this, it's so easy, okay. Did you wash your hand? Yes, I did. Oh, good. For how many seconds? 20 seconds. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> this is our house rule, okay? Our, our kids have to wash their hands for 20 seconds. This is how we do it, okay? You roll it into a bowl, and then you put it on a plate or parchment paper. I'll put a parchment paper, okay? Okay, you can work on it. All right. You wanna try? Kids wanna try? Come on. This is about, uh, looks like one to two teaspoons. Oh, about right, yes. Okay, see, it's so easy, kids can do it. It's a great kids project. Okay, Errol, wait. Arrow can do it too. Nice saying, excuse me. Okay, roll the ball, put it on the plate. Because it takes a while to boil it, so here I'm rolling some of the ones that I already made earlier. Actually, the kids made earlier. Put it in so you can see what it's like when it's ready later when we're done. All right, so just boil a pot of water, put those balls in. Okay, you roll them. Once you roll all of them, you put them in the freezer. <laughs> nice work, Lara. Okay, you put them in the freezer. Why? Okay, you have to put it in a freezer, okay? I failed so many times, ended up, it's all because when these balls are not solid, hard, and when you're doing the rolling thing later, it cannot hold the shape that well. Eventually the skin breaks because it's too soft inside, there's no support. So you freeze them and take a few out at a time. So every time when you roll them, they're solid, they're hard. So when you roll it, it's perfect round shape. It won't collapse, it won't collapse and it won't break, okay? Now, here, I'm gonna show you how to make it. And I, purpose, I purposely wear darker color so you will know that this will make a little mess because it's powder and you're gonna roll it, right? All right, so here. These are supposed to go into the freezer, but we're gonna put it here. Now, I'm gonna show once, okay? Everybody pay attention. I'm just gonna show it once. All right, okay. So what you do, you know, you start with one, if this is your first time. But eventually you can put three, four of these sesame balls in there, but now I'm gonna start with one. And you just roll. See, they're evenly coated with the sweet rice powder. And then you dump it into the water, you count. One, two, three, take it out. One, two, three, dump it in. And then you roll, roll, your roll. Look. Evenly coated, more. Take it out. Dump it in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dump it in. Roll your ball. One, two, three. Take it out. Right? You repeat this about
about eight to ten times, depends on how thick you like the skin to be. But you will see it's getting more and more smooth and round, and you know, and then you won't be able to see the black filling anymore. And you know it's ready. You see? Here. All right. Okay. And then one, two, three. Take it out. Dump it in. Okay, who wanna continue? Well maybe Uncle Stevie should do it first. Alright. Alright, let's see. Sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dump it in. <laughs> nice technique. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Do this one more time and then give you a try. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Dump it back in. Yeah. I like how it gets uh, nice and smooth as you roll it. It starts turning put easily. Put the water here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the first water. couple times will be harder, but that's okay. The, the more right. layers you put on, the better, easier it is going to be. All right, baby. Count. One, two, three. Take it out. Dump it in. There you go, give it a good shake. Shake, 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 and then take it out. Put it out. No, take this out. And then put this in. It's Lyra's turn. One, two, two three. three. And then make sure you huh? all the way submerge the uh, whole bowl into the water. Okay, now shake again. All right, now and then Lyra's turn. Yes, now, Lyra's turn. Where's the Can we get a new one? Okay, should we get a new one? Okay, see? This is the end result. And compared to the original feeling, right? There's about, I don't know, eight layers? Probably at least. Okay, you can keep yeah. going if you like it. At least seven or eight. Yeah. All right, come on. And this is called Yuan Xiao. It's different than making a dough and then wrap it. Fresh snow, so light. There you go. So good. And wait until when it's done and when you eat it. Oh, am I the god? Those sesame things flow One, two, three, out of the, the skin, just burst into your mouth. There you go. Good one. Ooh, look at that. See, so simple. Kid or a man <laughs> can make it. Her looks better than mine. Nice work, Lyra. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Good job. You ready to have your own show. Mm -hmm. Okay, while she's making it, I want to show you when you put the yuan shao, the sesame ball, in the water, it will still sink into the, uh, the, um, into the bottom of the pot. But now look at this. They're all puffy and they're floating up. That means it's ready. And I need Stevie mm -hmm. to give it a try and tell people. And then we want to show them when you bite into it. It's okay. really hot though, be careful. I, you know. Okay. I didn't have to sign a waiver Ooh. or anything. That is beautiful, spongy. Super hot. Mm. Look at that. Is it good? But you see the sesame? Yeah, let me, let me get it closer. Mm. And the, uh, the coating is like a pillow. It's the memory foam kind. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, it's hot. Mm. Oh, it's so nice. It's like a marshmallow. <laughs> but lighter than that, mm -hmm. and not as sweet, mm. I think. I don't it's, know. Uh, it's got a very, uh, the coating has a very delicate flavor. And the inside, uh, the interior, this, the filling is uh, nice and sweet. But it's got this really uh, rich. Is it 10 or 11? Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, make it at home. Make it with your kids. I think it's going to be a bomb, okay? And you should, everybody should eat it tomorrow, tomorrow night, to wrap up this whole Chinese New Year celebration. So, happy Chinese Lantern Festival. And thank you for coming. My pleasure. Thank you, thank you for being my sous chef. <laughs> All right, everybody. Lyra, working hard. Bye.